Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I'm at the Flying Heritage and Combat Armor Museum in Everett, Washington, and I'm having a look at two airplanes called Spaceship One and White Knight One. These two aircraft were designed together in the early 2000s to compete for the Ansari X Prize. The prize was $10 million for the first private enterprise to get a vehicle up to space. And space is internationally defined as 100 kilometers or 62 miles above sea level. These two airplanes were designed by Bert Rotten of Scale Composites in Moave, California. The project was funded by Paul Allen and they won the prize in 2004 after four years of development. The concept is that a small rocket ship is carried eight miles aloft by a large mothership airplane. That's about the height of a modern air jetliner. The small aircraft is then dropped from high altitude where it becomes a stable glider. It then fires its own rocket engine and pulls up into a vertical climb. The rocket engine has fuel for about a minute and the craft accelerates the whole time the engine is lit. Soon it is going Mach 3.5 or about 4,300 miles per hour straight up. When it gets to the top, it's called the Apogee and it activates a huge aerodynamic structure feature where the tail rotates up about 65 degrees and it causes the craft to descend with the cabin in a horizontal attitude, creating all kinds of aerodynamic drag. This keeps the speed in check until the air is thicker and the craft becomes a stable glider again. The airplane had to do the flight twice within two weeks to win the X Prize, and it did it. That airplane is in the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C., and that's a very good measure of the significance of that achievement. The White Knight Mothership is here in this museum, and it is the one and only original airplane built. After the space flight program, it was used for high altitude research until 2014. It was then retired and flown to this museum. Bert Rattan kept working on the Parasite Mothership Combination Project. A new larger program started with another billionaire named Richard Branson. His company of Virgin Atlantic bought the rights to continue the project and Bert Rattan designed Spaceship 2 and White Knight 2. Both aircraft were built in this facility at Mojave and they operate out of a spaceport in New Mexico. They are considerably bigger and designed to take commercial passengers to space. Meanwhile, Another 100 yards further to the east on Mojave Airport is another huge facility. Two big buildings host the biggest parasite mothership combination ever imagined. This is the home of Stratojet, Paul Allen's final project, again designed by Burt Rattan. This mothership is powered by six 747 engines and has the largest wingspan of any airplane ever built. The airplane weighs 500,000 pounds empty and 750 pounds full of fuel. It has a maximum takeoff weight of 1.3 million pounds. That's with a payload of 550,000 pounds, which is enough to get a 13,500 pound satellite to orbit. The airplane was built with components from a Boeing boneyard that's on the north side of Mojave Airport. It was designed around components of a Boeing 747-200. They source the engines, flight deck, avionics, landing gear, hydraulics, and more. Approximately 250,000 pounds of the airplane is recycled Boeing aircraft. Space flight was Paul's passion, and Scottish Jet was built to launch a rocket big enough to get to space. A craft for human travel was not yet designed when Paul passed away in 2019. Stratojet made its maiden flight one month after Paul's death, which I find very sad to think about. Rest in peace, Paul, and thank you for all you did for aviation.
that's some pretty great footage of Spaceship Two, their first and second flights. And getting back to this museum, Spaceship One and White Knight One here. The last flight of White Knight was in 2014 when it was retired and brought to this museum. And we have some footage from Jason Fortenbacker of Fight to Fly Photography, who goes to this museum for pretty much all its aviation events. And this aircraft flew to this airport and it taxied right up to this building and then it got hung from the ceiling. I think it's been up on the ceiling for years now. But Jason caught a whole bunch of footage of it coming in and here it is. White Knight 1 went on to be White Knight 2 under license with Virgin Galactic. And then Strato Launch is actually kind of White Knight 3. It's its own company and the company was put up for sale after Paul's death for $400 million. It's said that it probably has over a billion invested in it. And the company is still very much alive. The website's active. And I noticed that at their store, they have pretty much the lowest cost t-shirt in America. And what a great deal, 10 bucks for a t-shirt. I think I'll get one. I've been to the building twice now, uh, hoping the doors were open and it hasn't been. The next time I'm gonna give them a phone call and I'm gonna be wearing one of these shirts.